Hello, I am Pam and this is my channel made by Pam. Today is March 18th, 2022. Hashtag Friday Soaps. So it's a little bit about life, what we've sown, what we plan on sowing, and just, you know, a bunch of rambling. <laughs> All right, so what did I get sewn this week? Well, I did get this shirt sewn and I've added a little pink um, fabric for the cuffs and it's got a v-neck and this is pattern so what I'm wearing it is pattern 8521 now it doesn't call for the cuffs and it calls for the like the v-neck to be a little bit different if you can see how that overlaps well I figured out how to do this cute little like actual V and I prefer to do it that way than the way they have it on here because I have one with the way they have it on here and it, it just doesn't always look the greatest because it kind of folds in and curls and yeah but I definitely like adding cuffs because it just looks better. And then I do add a hem band on the bottom. I did add a hem band. And I just have it paired with a pair of knit overalls. Which, the fabric, it really doesn't stretch. Which is fine. Because it fits me fabulously <laughs> but yeah so I it paired with that and then when I was putting this on this morning I was like you know what I should make a pink pair of overalls yeah but I have some pink corduroy that would look absolutely fabulous as a pair of corduroy added pair of overalls yeah So yeah, I made this. Actually, I made it a couple of times. So, a uh, shirt I sewed you last week. That I made a shirt for me and my son. And I used this pattern for myself. The Simplicity 1317. And it's an okay pattern. I like it um, but I gotten out this pattern um, to sew him up the shirt and then I made a shirt for my 19 year old because she wanted a new shirt and I made one for my seven year old because she wanted a new shirt so I made her a shirt like this my son has the bird shirt that has a purple ribbing I made him that shirt to match my bird purple ribbing shirt and then the other fabric that is like the gray and cream floral I made that shirt for me with this pattern and then I made one to match it for my 19 year old out of this pattern. So, um, three out of my five kids at home, they all have a shirt that matches their moms. <laughs> and it's so cute because last night, well, was it last night? I don't know. I just know the other day whenever it was could have been yesterday it could have been the day before days run together sometimes but my son he wanted to wear that well he came to my room because I had sorted laundry and he sees his shirt sitting there he's like mom is this my shirt or is this your shirt I'm like that one's yours 
He's like, oh good, I want to put it on right now. That was the cutest thing. I thought it was adorable. I was like, oh, so sweet. All right, so that's some of what I've sewn. And then I've also sewed up a pair of overalls. Yep, you guessed it. I sewed up McCall's 2792. And they are my St. Patrick's Day overalls. So I have them right here and I have like a green and yellow buttons and all different shapes, you know. I gotta do the mismatch. And then I've just done like a little, I guess like almost like a peacock print. You know, I thought about doing the St. Patrick's, like the Clover's print with this, but then I'm like, no, too cliche. I'm just gonna do a different print. So I did with this print. Now, these buttons, they don't function. <laughs> They're just there for decoration. I did do the buttonhole. Yeah, I did do the buttonhole and I did cut the buttonhole open. And I did sew the button onto the strap itself. And then I tried to put it through the hole. And it's like, no, that's not gonna work. So I undid it and I just layered it on top and sewed it down so it's like secure and everything. Because when I wear overalls, I don't always like um, undo the buttons to take them off because they just slip down my shoulder just so easily that I don't really need a functioning button. Granted, I do have, these do function, these star ones, here they do function. But I don't find the need to have to undo them. Same with the sides. I can undo them if I need to. See, these ones function a little bit better. But I generally don't have to undo these either because my waist, on well, my hips, it's just up and down. I don't have much of a waist. And you know, and it's just right there. <laughs> and I've got a mommy pouch. <laughs> Because I've had six kids. <laughs> yeah. More information than you want to know, right? So, and then with this, I did add like the leg pocket. So as you see on this, it does have a side pocket. And it does generally have the pocket on both sides. See on this back view. You can see the pocket on both sides, but I just wanted to do a pocket on one side because that's just the way it is. And it does not have any back pockets. And then it has the basic pockets and I kind of cut this out so it stripes is going diagonal on the pocket piece. And then on this front pocket piece, I cut it out going diagonal. And then on this side pocket piece, I cut these so that they go, that, and they match up with the stripes. So I kind of blend it in. And then I've just got this pocket that I cut out on the diagonal. And then this is just a snap pocket and then there and I do like to um, do the lining fabric on the pockets also same with this I do the lining but yeah so look how nice those lines are lined up the stripes you know some of them aren't exact but they're pretty dang close you know, I took my time. Now the video I did showing this pair, it was like a five and a half hours of content. I'm like, there's no way I'm going to like 
Um, thing is, I didn't talk during the video. All I did was I had my camera going and I was just sewing. I didn't do a lot of talking, I just sewed. So, um, I figured that was a good video just to kind of do like a speed through video. And I could have slowed it down. And I could have done commentary like a voiceover video. And I was like, hmm, nah. So yeah, like even the back. Look how awesome those line up. They just line up so perfectly. So I really enjoyed wearing these yesterday for St. Patrick's Day. So... I just got home from dropping my son off at his cousin's because his cousin comes over for a little while and plays well kind of like interacts with my 12 year old and they like to spend the night well he likes to spend the night over at his cousin's so I took his cousin and my son over to my sister's and it's right by the thrift store. Yeah. So I decided, well, let me just hop on in there and see what they have today. And so I did. Yeah, I found some fabric and I found a package of patterns. So let me show you what I got. <laughs> There's you know, I just barely got home. So, I found this cute little fabric. Look how cute that is. Now, I heard somebody on one of the videos, I swear they had talked about this fabric, about the apples and just like the chunks and the bites taken out of it. I'm not sure, but I'm pretty sure I remember that. And this, fat, this was just put out because it's a new tag that they were just putting out this week. So, I know it hasn't been sitting there very long because it wasn't there on Wednesday when I was there. Yeah, and today's Friday. <laughs> so yeah. But I know this is an older fabric. Now it's 100% cotton. It's got one and three fourths of a yard. But it says it right there. It has a little tag. And apparently it used to be at ZCMI. Do you guys remember when ZCMI had fabric? I do. We used to have one that's just like over the bridge from where I live. Now, I've only lived here for like 15 years. But when I was younger and lived in a different location, they used to have a mall. And in that part of the mall, they had CCMI. And quite interesting, I see. So, on the tag, you know, I don't know from when this fabric is from. I don't. But the tag, it says a dollar sixty-nine a yard. Yeah, those were the days. But isn't that cute fabric? I was thinking that a cute like little backpack type thing for like school. Granted, my kids probably want to wear it. So what's the point of making one, right? <laughs> but anywho, I thought that was cute. Why not? It's like a, it's like a cotton canvas type fabric. Oh so yeah. If I can figure out how to fold. Oh, and on Wednesday, I did pick up a fabric. So I saw this cute little owl. It's like a 100% cotton um, sheet. It's like a 
yeah 100% cotton sheet flannel um, got the cute little owls so I saw this when I was there on Wednesday and I picked it up it's the only thing I picked up that day yeah but I got it because I was like oh my daughter loves owls she would absolutely love that I'm gonna get it and then I can make her a pair of pajama pants or something and also, this one I wasn't so sure about, but I really love it. And look, it kind of matches this pink in the sleeve. Wouldn't that go great together? <laughs> so yeah, you heard me. Overalls. Imagine that. It's nice and bright. I like it. And it's, you know, it's sturdy enough that it would just look great. And there's like four yards of this. Yeah. And I got it for like five dollars. So it's not bad. I got that one. And then I did pick up a bag that has different fabrics in it. I have quite a few bags of fabric and this one it caught my eye and I was like yeah I'll take that one so we have a pink with paisleys let's see there's like a yard of this one. That's cute. And then we have a blue fabric. Isn't that cute? And there's just under a yard of this. There may be like three fourths, three fourths of a yard. Let me see. Let me measure it on my table. So it is like, we'll just say 28 inches, but that is cute. And then, we have this one, and they have some like weird little spikes on the bottom. We have that one. And there's this one. It's like a white canvasy fabric. Looks like it has, has like animal hair on it. Yeah. Okay. So we have animals in my house. We have a dog and a cat. They're my daughters. I try not to claim them. But there's one room that they are really not allowed to come in, which they do try to sometimes. Like I catch the cat trying to come in here, or when I'm going coming down and the cat hurries up and runs out of the room, I'm like, great. So I don't really allow the animals in my room, in my sewing room. Well, they're not allowed in my bedroom either. <laughs> okay, and then we have this other cute little fabric here. And it also has those weird little spikes. wonder what project they were working on. <laughs> and then have this other cute one here and I like a black I don't know what kind of fabric it is I don't know it's like a lining like polyester fabric and then just some basic 
you know, oddball pieces. Which these oddball pieces look very familiar. I'm sure I have some fabric that matches some of these oddball pieces. I'm pretty sure. Kind of looks like the Christmas tree bag I made a couple months ago. <laughs> oh, and then I was going to show you the patterns. So, this package of patterns that just got put out maybe yesterday, today. Because I was there Wednesday morning. But they have these. So, they had a package. They don't always like put four patterns in a package. It's usually two patterns per package. But this one they just happen to put four patterns per the package. And they're like smaller kid patterns. So we have the Simplicity 7685. It's from 1997. It has the pockets. And I've done pockets like that before. Um, there's really not much room in those pockets. I made a pair of pants that was similar to those with those kind of pockets. My daughter wasn't too thrilled. She still wears the pants all the time. She loves the pants. But she doesn't love the pockets. Yeah. But yeah, so I, there was that one. And then there's the Quick Sew 1697. It's a quick surge. And, you know, it's still in the sealed envelope. And here is the back view. And then we have this other Quick Sew pattern. 1697. Seven, five, and this one was one six nine seven, and this one, um, it's pretty much looks exactly the same. You see the similarity in there. This one is just like a toddler's t-shirt. This is a boy's t-shirt. But they do have a lot of similarities and do look the same. So yeah. And then there was this McCall 3416. And this one is an extra small to a small. And the small is a 5.6. So... If I use this, it would be the 5.6. So I do need to think about making a pair of pants for my five-year-old for school, for kindergarten next year. You know, because August is coming sooner than you expect. So I do need to make him a pair of pants during the summer, though. I will make them during the summer. I won't make them yet. I will make them during the summer, like June, July, August, because that would be a perfect time to be making him a pair of pants. Yeah. And I can make him a pair of those pants for school. Alright, so those are the patterns I picked up, that's the fabric I picked up, even though I don't need any more fabric. And what I've been making... Yeah. Alright. Well, I think almost everyone in my house is feeling better. You know, we've all kind of had a stomach bug. Yeah. My daughter threw up Wednesday night. That was fun. Yeah. And then they've kind of been sick off and on throughout the week missing school because they don't feel well yeah and then I wasn't feeling well last night but I'm doing much better 
I told my kids last night, I'm like, you know what? Mommy is going to sleep in. And you're going to let mommy sleep in as long as necessary. It's like, but why, mom? I'm like, because mommy doesn't feel well. And mommy needs to sleep. Because I've been sick. I have been taking care of all of you sicknesses all week long. <laughs> So therefore, it's time for mommy to take a break and take, you know, sleep in a little bit to recuperate. Yeah. So they did really good letting me sleep in. Yeah. And it was great. I felt so much better. And I am doing so much better. So I hope you guys all have a wonderful day. Thank you so much for watching. Stay creative. Bye.